Hey everybody, Thomas Wood with MicroQuant here. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the Canadian dollar and where it's gone. Now, yesterday I did a membership video talking about how the Canadian dollar should continue to go down today uh, for all the platinum members of the Value Charts community. Uh, now what we're looking at is where is the Canadian dollar going to go for today? Uh, it broke out of this very nice consolidation period we had been having for a couple of weeks in a row uh, yesterday and so far it's gone down and hit our profit target uh, today and if you were in the trading room we actually said okay now's the time to exit about three or four ticks off of the low of the day now we've been expecting we've been bearish the Canadian dollar ever since it broke out of this weekly pennant pattern and the profit target or first profit target was around 9203 which are these lows the low of today was 9218 uh, which is close enough based off a of weekly to want to get out of it it also had a really nice 30 and 60 minute bullish divergence according to the MQ momentum uh, that also suggested that prices should bounce so far it has bounced up a little bit or they have bounced up a little bit so we'll see where it gets to now I'm going into neutral with the Canadian dollar if it breaks below the 92 level I'm gonna say it's gonna to continue to head lower however as long as that 92 level holds we could see the Canadian dollar turn around and start to climb back up so keep an eye on the loonie over the next couple of weeks. Watch where the price action takes us. Watch whether or not we're going to be able to break through the support. And that's all I have for today. So until next time, happy trading. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to the Value Charts YouTube channel. You'll get lots of updates. You'll get free webinars. You'll get free daily trade setups, uh, different things like that. You can click the button below to subscribe. And again, that's all for today. So until next time, happy trading.